Fancy seeing you pitch a fabulous menu for Mama Bear. Why do I have to cook you anything? Can't you just order takeout? For heaven's sake. Ooh, spaghetti would be awesome. Like, for me in my life. Not saying for Mama Bear, I don't know about her. I don't know what she likes. And another, <laughs> and another thing. Tell Susan to stop hassling me about my dog being the drama club. There's no way I'm letting my best muscle ruin his reputation by being involved with the stupid theater project. Stupid? It's not stupid. It's really fun. And who says it would ruin my cred? Hell yeah, mad dog. Stick up for yourself and your troop. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so pleased. Maybe it would earn me even more respect. Putting yourself on the line creatively shows real bravery. Yes. Yes, dude. Yes. One, this is not a democracy. Two, laugh's not fair. Three, this conversation's over. Poor Mad Dog. Mama Bear's so mean to him. If an employer talked to me like that, I'd quit. Do it anyway, Mad Dog. It's what a real gangster would do. I found out you went to see a therapist this morning. Oh, how we laughed and laughed. Isn't that right, Mad Dog? I think it was only you that laughed. Look at you. It's hilarious that you think spilling your guts is the way to make yourself feel better. I mean, it, it is, though. I think that you're taking a rather dim view of this, Mama Bear. Therapy has already helped me. For example, you're really irritating me right now, but look how calm I am. Ooh. Damn, I got some guts, though, dude. Imagine waterfalls. Okay. Block out negativity. All right. Stay calm. Yeah, that's fair. Wink at Mad Dog. Hell yeah. Dude, let's hook up with Mad Dog. Smile sweetly. Apply lipstick. Okay, that's odd. Praise therapy. Hallelujah therapy. Hallelujah. Share mantras. I need to start doing mantras. Okay, okay. I'll never make fun of you again. And I agree. You do seem more chilled out. And as we're going to be roomies for the unseeable future, that's a win for me. What? What's happening? Did I just seriously change Mama Bear's mind about something? Amazing. Maybe this whole being calm and collected thing really does pay off. Interesting. Well, okay. Still don't know what this has to do with the storyline, but... I'd love to stay in chat, but I have a personal training session to attend. Wonderful. I feel like some exercise, too. I'll join you. Oh, crud. She's coming with me? It's not like I can say no. Ay, ay, ay. All of this is ridiculous. Mad dog, what up? You came to join? I can't believe Mama Bear's crashing my workout. How do you put up with her? I don't know. I guess I'm used to it. Everyone knows Mama Bear takes what Mama Bear wants. Word of advice, nostalgia, don't do more jumping jacks than Mama Bear. Oh, great, so I gotta let her win now? Ridiculous. Mad Dog leaves. Shane and Mama Bear joins you. Join you. Hey, ladies, ready to smash some workout goals? Give me a woo! Woo! Looks like it's my lucky day. You're just my top cutie pie. Sassy, I love it. I got a great workout plan for both y'all today. We're gonna get pumped. Sounds great. Then we can go out afterwards to celebrate. <laughs> Was she seriously hitting on my personal trainer? So Shane, today I'd like to focus on flexibility. Can we do some something like Pilates or yoga? No, I want to work on my glutes and legs with Shane. That yeah, treadmill's got your name on it, Nostalgia Scram. Ha, huh, you sure know what you want, Mama Bear, but I think we'll keep this as a group session. Who does she think she is? She's treating me like one of the thugs. Time to show this old mafiosa who's boss. 
Work out and beat Mama Bear. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, God. She's going to kill me in my sleep. She's going to have Roger Mad Dog strangle me. Like, in the bathtub. I don't know why I thought bathtub, but it's going to happen. You'll see planks. Jesus, I hate planks. Although I hate burpees more. Burpees hurt, dude. And I don't mean, like, hurt as in, like, make me sore. I mean, like, legit the whole, like... I don't know, like, my knees always hurt afterwards. Catch Mama Bear Glam. Good. I don't think you're ready for my jelly. Haha, <laughs> I sure showed Mama Bear. She could hardly keep up. You're really... Wait, you really bring the pup to a whole new level. Can't wait until our next session. Woo! You'll, be cer you'll certainly be seeing me again soon. I'm Nostalgia's new workout, buddy. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Heck no. Mad dog arrives. Uh, Mama Bear, it's time for your appointment. I need to make like a hair and split. Bye, Shane. You'll be in my dreams. Okay. I'm at your house. We have a serious problem. Oh, God. Don't stress. I know about the mac and cheese debacle. Just open the windows. It's not that. Hurry back. I'll tell you when you get here. Okie dokie. Coming, coming. Oh, look at that. Well. How much time before it begins? Eight hours. Cool. I'll do some work. I haven't done that in a while. Okay, so let me see. Hold on. So, I'm up to level 6 here. Can you please? Oh, I'm almost at level 6 here. Baller. Okay, let's just do this then. Yay, and I don't have to leave my office. Stellar. So, I'm still sick, which sucks. But, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting better, which is great. I've taken the liberty of staying at home while I'm feeling under the weather because I am a responsible person and I don't want to get others sick. So, there. I think I have time for one more job. I think I'll do a uh, photography job. Look at my buns. I've been doing squats at home too. Alright, let's do a photography job. Just because I'm way behind and might as well, right? Oh, it's in my office too. How delightful. Awesome sauce. Hopefully I have enough energy because if not, I'm going to cry. Oh, yep, I'm going to cry. It's going to end up happening. I know it. Why not? I've been feeling so positive lately. I might as well sob for a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. No! Oh, shucks. I knew this was going to be an issue. Hell. Okay, let's wander around Wisteria Lane a little bit. Alrighty, let's see. So, here's an energy. I need four total. But honestly, probably after going back up to the office, like... It'll probably be like, woohoo, it's all solved. Ooh! Is there anything else I can maybe click on over here? Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I don't know why that happens. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, what are you going to do? I'm so glad this game is like... Like I did this game again. Because I couldn't for a while. Like, the phone that I had this downloaded on, I, I couldn't for a while. Like, I, I couldn't find it anywhere. And then as soon as I moved, my parents were like, hey, here's your ex an extra phone we found. And I'm like, <gasps> this is the phone. Anyways. <laughs> okay, weird. I haven't touched the game in like a day, but it's still not uh, up to 120 in energy. But it's okay. Let's collect payment. Hello. Ooh, yeah. 
excellent. I am now a jewelry designer. Next level is footwear designer. Let's start training for this. Awesome. And then let's collect for a photography job. Cool. So let's meet up with Susan in my bedroom. I forget why. Mama Bear thinks she owns the place. She's out of control. This morning I caught Mama Bear going through your dad's personal belongings. What? I was furious that she crashed my gym session, but this is way worse. She seemed to be looking for something specific. I'm not sure if she found it. I need to see if anything obvious has gone missing. Examine Mama Bear's meddling. Dude, that's so not cool. Like, what the hell? I thought we were cool, Mama Bear. Well, it's obvious that she was using her staying with me as an excuse to continue to frame my dad. I don't know. We need to get Mama Bear under control, but I have no idea how we're going to do it. I agree. We need to do something. She really crossed the line this time. Okay, so now what? Is Mama Bear in your backyard now, Lynette? How are you doing, nostalgia? I'm having massive boundary problems with Mama Bear. She went through Dad's stuff. Whoa, we need to get this under control ASAP. It's time for an action plan. I need to talk to you and Raji. Meet me at Jimmy's house. And Raji? What does she want with Raji? It's not like Raji can control Mama Bear. Uh, okay. I trust you. See you there. That's weird. Well, I see the place is still pigsty no matter how much we cleaned. I'll be blunt. Mama Bear is an awful employer. You need to learn to say enough is enough. I disagree with the use of the word awful. She's tough, but she's not as bad as you think. Sometimes she throws food at us when she's angry, but it's not so bad. It's not normal for employers to throw anything at their employees. Oh, I wasn't aware these were bad working conditions. You need to be the one who stands up to her. She's got Mad Dog wrapped around her finger. She won't even let him be in that musical, and I've heard him sing. That guy sings like an angel. I have to side with Lynette on this one, Raji. It's up to you to be a trailblazer and stand up to her. Convince Raji to stand up to Mama Bear. Raji's gonna get killed, dude. Mama Bear is gonna kill him, and she's gonna send Mad Dog on him. I probably only have enough for one more job left to do. Alright, fine. Mama Bear is an awful boss, but it's impossible to argue with her. All her big words and business jargon and threats. Definitely those. I don't stand a chance against her. That's why I'm a thug. Leave most of the talking to me. It'll be fine. I've dealt with pretty ruthless folk in the boardroom. The trick is to catch her off guard. Where does she like to relax? Mama Bear loves to play pool. She always complains that she never does it enough. If you promise to do the talking, I can arrange a meeting. It's time to give her a wake-up call. Hell yeah, Raji! Ugh. So proud of these guys. They've come such a long way. It's crazy how these, like, big dudes are afraid to stand up to a tiny little woman. It shows that they're actually very insecure people, which is why, Mad Dog, it's so great that you're doing a show because you are finding inner self-confidence. Mama Bear's still angry with you for showing her up at the gym. I warned you not to do more jumping jacks, but you couldn't help yourself. 
Oh, I feel terrible. Here's an idea. How about I let Mama Bear beat me a pool so she feels better? Hmm, okay, but you better lose badly. We'll meet you at Lucky's Pool Hall. Don't be late. Well, Raji, looks like I arranged that one. Oh boy, this will be interesting. We'll all be dead before noon. I'm so excited. Let's collect energy for this. Really? Well, you could have told me that before I got here. Okay, let's do an outfit challenge. Oof. Well, wait. Well, first of all, let's do this. Second of all. Hello. There we go. Let's start from the bottom because I like to do that. Oh, we never finished the Brie thing. Oh, well. That looks really weird. I don't like that. Oh, well, next time. Pretend to be Lynette's assistant during a high-powered lunch at Shea Naomi. Like, why does that happen? I've organized a lunch with some investors to pitch a business idea. Turning up with the smart and savvy assistant will make me look really professional. I'd love you to play that part. You need to look like you belong in the business world. With your support, I know this is going to work like a charm. Okay. So. Let me think what else could work. Okay, it, um, okay, it, it, it died <laughs> because I ran out of space on my phone. So, I am looking. <laughs> I like this because it's formal. Um, maybe let's do some sh formal shoes. Okay, I like this. Well, I like this, okay. And then for the top, I'm not gonna make any purchases just yet. I wanna see what happens first. So I'll do this. Let's put some glasses on. Let's put earrings on. We already have a necklace on, we already have a bracelet on. Okay, let's see what happens. She's gonna be like, ew, this is all disgusting. Yep, let's do this, Lynette. Let's see what happens. I'm impressed by your choices. That's a smart look for the occasion. Baller. Great glasses. They look very professional and smart. I expected a few pure items and you really delivered. You've really delivered with the dark colored items. You really hit the mark by not being too colorful. Clever move. I'm happy you chose not to wear anything sexy. Your outfit is not quite as formal as I was hoping for. Three or more formal items. Okay. Um, I almost feel like I should take a picture of this because to be perfectly honest, I feel like I'm going to forget all these and I'm going to accidentally get rid of something that I needed. Got it. Nice. First, let me fix this. Love it. Okay, so I just needed more formal items. Well, I mean, she likes that this is pure. Unless, could I possibly make...
Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be a head scratcher. Let me think. Can anything be pure and formal? Pure and formal, but this is too colorful though. Right? Hold on. No more than one colorful item. Well, that complicates things just a little bit. Okay, well this doesn't count as colorful, right? I'm seeing this. Formal. Pure. We can give this a go and see what happens. Hopefully that'll work out. We also have these options too. But I don't think these count as formal. Oh. Formal, it's black, dark, decorated. I think this should be good too, actually. You know what, let's just stick to the other one for now. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, this should be okay. That looks cute, I like this outfit. All right, well anyways, let's go to Lucky's. Get ready, ladies. Here she comes. Mama Bear arrives, surprised to see the housewives. Wow, what an audience. This is going to be all the more humiliating for nostalgia. Actually, we're here to discuss the unacceptable way you treat your employees. You mean Raji and Mad Dog? Those knuckleheads aren't my employees. They're muscle, which means they're tough. They don't need any fancy perks. They're happy. Those kind of excuses are not going to fly. Not anymore. Your business practices are dangerous. Of course they're dangerous. Do you know who I am? For example, the hip holster you gave Raji for his 45 is entirely the wrong kind. It could cause the pistol to misfire when he draws it. You've seen Raji's 45? How? He's supposed to keep it hidden, that moron. We've documented a long list of ways in which your two employees are at high risk of injury. They don't have health insurance, for one. What if one of them gets sick? Ever think of that? How about all that unpaid overtime? These guys aren't even allowed to have hobbies. Oh, don't tell me this is about that stupid play you want Mad Dog to be in. It's not stupid. He's really good. I've never heard a voice as beautiful as Mad Dog's. Mama Bear, you've even treated me like an overworked employee and I've never seen a dime. You don't respect my space. You took over my personal training sessions. Going through my dad's personal belongings was just the icing on the cake. Confront Mama Bear about her terrible behavior. Constructive criticism. Should be very interesting. I'm a good boss. <laughs> it's so weird to be kind of like nearing the end of this game. Like, I realize that we still have like more than one and a half episodes left, but still, it's crazy. 
Wow, hearing myself say all this out loud, I guess you ladies do have a point. The truth is, ever since I lost Jimmy, I've been terrified of losing Roger and Mad Dog as well. Maybe that's why I'm so tough on them. While I sympathize with your reasoning, that doesn't make your treatment of them okay. I never used to be this bad. I'll try and be a better boss and a better room to nostalgia. A better roommate to nostalgia. Whoops. Wow, we actually made progress. I don't think so. I think she's going to be a lot worse now. Just personally, I think that's what's going to happen. Oh, clue found. Stressed out. I want to be a better employer, but to be honest, I don't know how. I have no idea where to start. The general rule is that if you want to retain good employees, you have to treat them well. Yeah. Work-life balance is important. Don't make people do endless unpaid overtime. It's important for people to have lives and hobbies outside of work. Uh, for example, being in a musical at the local theater. Happy employees never leave companies. It's the ones who... It's the ones who management treats like dirt who do. Absolutely 100% true. All right, all right, I get it. I need to be nicer to Raji and Mad Dog. Do you have all, do you all have any tips, Hal? Round two, give advice. She's actually listening? Come on. This is hard to believe. It's really hard to believe that a mob boss is taking our advice about how to treat her like muscle-bound thugs. While we're here, actually, hold on. After Jimmy's betrayal, Mama Bear has trust issues. She fears losing her devoted employees, Mad Dog and Raji. I'm loving these, like, little cartoons. Like, of the clues. They, I just live for them. Group hug. What a way to end this all. I'm going to concede. Mad Dog can be in the play. Sorry, the musical. Which is it again? Uh, technically, it's both. But oh my gosh, this is wonderful. Mad Dog will be so happy. But I will point out that he has a choice to keep working for you. You're implying that you don't have a choice about me being your house guest, right? Don't answer that. Of course, you're absolutely correct. Did I read that wrong? This all sounds really weird. So I'll tell you what, Nostalgia, I'll promise to go out of my way to be bitter to you too. Well, thanks, lady. Appreciate it. So now what? Let's not wait to tell Raji and Mad Dog the good news. I agree. It would be the perfect opportunity to offer them an apology, Mama Bear. Oh, I don't know if she'll apologize. Hmm, apologies are something I don't do, but I'll talk to them about changes going forward. Should have known there was a limit to her charitability. Oh well, good enough. Tell the thugs the good news outside Lucky's. That was a quick game. Is everything okay? Oh darn, are we in trouble again? I don't know what I did, but I'm sorry. Shut up. I mean, please shut up. You didn't do anything wrong. Mama Bear has something to tell you both concerning your future employment. Oh no, are we fired? We're fired, aren't we? Please don't. I need this job. Nostalgia, why did you have to interfere? Look, I've been too hard on you both. From now on, I'm going to be less gruff. My heart was so broken when we lost Jimmy, I grew terrified of losing you both, too. I overreacted, so here's the new deal. No more 16-hour days. Your overtime pay will be double. No way. Double? Raji, we could buy new gym pants. Bless you, Mad Dog, you adorable cutie. <laughs> Not just gym pants, shirts, gloves, water bottles. One more thing. Mad Dog, you're back in the musical. Don't you dare forget to serenade me. 
Oh my gosh, seriously? I'm so happy I could throw a party. Who wants a cold beverage? Aw. That's so cute. All right, we'll celebrate the new employment rules later.